Hey, Steve Ramshaw here, Exec Chef at Wagamama, and this is episode 10. But with a heavy heart, I must say, our last episode. But they've given me another season. Yes, folks, you heard it right here first. We're doing season two. We're going to have two weeks off. We're going to launch on June the 10th. And we're going to do our summer season. We're going to show you dishes that are going to blow your mind. Stuff that never made the light of day in our noodle lab. But we're going to do them for you. And we're going to have a beautiful summer because we're going to show you some cracking food. Saying all that, we got to end with a bang. So, after being asked so many times for it, we're going to do chilli squid. Yes, I know, you're all going, are you? We are going to do chilli squid. <laughs> This is our ingredients for our cheese squid. Great squid tubes that I've got from the Asian supermarket, which came in frozen, defrosted them, getting them ready to cut. Some corn flour to coat our squid so we can then deep fry it, but I'll show you all of that. The seasoning is salt and sashimi, which is the mix of the orange peel, the sesame seeds, the chilies. Absolutely great seasoning. Then our beautiful spicy vinegar, which again, I'll go through as we go through the dish, really sharp, cut through that fried squid, and it can be used on vegetables, salads, really great dressing as well. So, I suppose we better go and do some cooking. Got my corn flour, got my sashimi, got my squid, which I'm gonna cut and pineapple cut for you. Then I'm gonna put it in my lovely bowls, corn flour it, deep fry it, sashimi, bit of salt, spicy vinegar dressing that we've made, which is basically sugar syrup, reduced down so it becomes quite thick and syrupy, then vinegar's added, then some chilli and coriander in it to give it a lovely kick. So, let's get cutting some squid. So top and tail, or otherwise top and tail, getting confused in my own work now. Then all we're gonna do is just cut the squid tube open, revealing our beautiful squid, any bits of skin left in there that we can trim away we can any of the quill that might still be there which is the sort of bony bit that goes through the squid we can get rid of so that's pretty cool actually that's pretty much done then all we're going to do we're going to pineapple cut it and that basically means in the state of a pineapple equal distances apart and then you'll see what i mean by pineapple so when it curls it looks like a little baby pineapple so there you have one way and then all we do is turn it so if you can just about see the lines in there then all we do is we do it another way and basically that helps it curl up gives it that beautiful looking pineapple bit that you will miss so much from wagamama And again, don't, just take your time. There's no rush with this. And as you can see, look, if you start to see, you start to see the flesh all start to be bumpy. That's our pineapple cup. And then all I'm gonna do is cut this tube in half. And then probably about chopsticks width apart. And I'm just gonna be cheeky and just trim that a little bit just so we get some nice lengths and there you go and then we do our next bit squid cuts now we're going to put some corn flour on it i'm going to do a little bit at a time so it gives it this lovely crisp outside coating and then oh trying a bit more so still alive and a bit more powder and then we're done. Job done, ready to fry. Now the squid. Gently in our frying pan. Be very careful, it's oil is very hot. Thank you. 
sashimi. So it's called chili squids when you put plenty of sashimi on there. Give it a really good coating. And a little bit of salt. Just help the flavour. And there we go. Chili squid. So there's our spicy vinegar and our chili squid. Sugar syrup, rice wine vinegar, or vinegar I should say. Chili, coriander, and that beautiful squid. I'm gonna have that try. Well, can't win them all. Great dish.